And welcome back to Half Hour Henshin, episode 15. As always, I am Sleepy Witch, and I'm joined by... DJ Zer, the 2.5D here, Tommy Tuber. Oh man, and this is the, the first episode on, on the new channel. Everything will, of course, be uploaded in the archive, but this is, this is the first one we're doing for this, this specific channel. Mm -hmm. oh man oh, there's there's there, there's so much work that that we've done in the past week over this but i mean geats and dawn brothers haven't calmed down at all either so yeah yeah and Whew. i'm and you know i'm i'm excited to do this work i've been having so much fun doing the podcast and planning stuff for it and it it it's just been a lot of fun so well we'll talk a little bit more about that in the end but First, let's let's get into some, some quick episode recaps because there there is a lot to talk about. Yeah, so like pretty much just basically just going through um it's uh Geats and uh Geats and Punk Jack needed uh need to get their uh like are are the only ones that need to get theirs uh, for musical chairs. Yeah, their desire drivers. I do really like the touch of that Geats is is using the like jet mask when they when they show them all at the beginning of the episode. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, 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 yeah I, did, I didn't notice that. And after that, uh, what else is there? Uh, so pretty much right, right at the beginning, like, you know, we do get like a bunch of action scenes and uh, all that stuff. And then we see a scene with uh, Geats and Punk Jack already talking to each other and how, um, what is it? Uh, yeah, Punk Jack is like, oh, yeah, I made a deal already. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I, made I've, a deal. I made a deal. So I'm going to be able to get through the scenes at the beginning. The fighting is really good. We'll, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll talk on that a little bit. Uh, more later on but yeah punk jack and, and the game master have already made a deal uh but it becomes basically like immediately clear uh to punk jack that the deal is no longer <laughs> being followed yeah. we get to see yeah. uh a very cool uh red-eyed buffer with the uh with the jamato being able to like uh basically like make you see illusions and mm -hmm. we get we get we get a. Uh, I guess our hit and maybe like our, our next mid boss or, or, or a, a guy we're gonna have to take deal, deal with it really with the new Jamato Rook. Yeah, oh, man, Who can Rook. Talk. Yeah, that that is creepy as hell too. It's like little shop of horrors, like even more horrifying in a, in a way. Yep. Yeah. They're they're looking to fight. Everything's going. I mean, everyone's fighting. We get some really cool stuff about Neon's body gun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We'll 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 get to that very very soon. Yep. But it's super cool how they want to follow her and not and not her dad, which is really awesome. Really in terms awesome of stuff. Uh, yeah. We have to see a lot of Geeth and Punk Jack fighting like unarmored, which is cool. Obviously, they don't have their stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and and you know, Geeth and Punk Jack have a heart to heart. He gives them a bunch of info because he you know he's been betrayed by the game master. They sort of decide to team up, and we find out. I mean, he was a rock star, and we find out about the sponsorship, uh, like deal within uh, DGP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. So we learned a lot about that one, and then Neon gets a call, and then sorry, I, I just really just wanted to get to this part because this part made me really happy. Uh, we're with Neon's bodyguards again. Yep, and now they're like, and now they know about the DGP. And for a second, I was like, "Wait, did she tell them? Did she break the rules?" And it's like, "No, they found their own ID core." Yeah, and like, like, and the reason why I'm excited about this is because like you've been bringing this up over the past of the couple of weeks, but like, yeah, both Michael Kinder and uh, what was uh, uh, and Constantine? I forgot his first name. Yeah, I don't remember off the top of my head. But they're both like big uh, Toku no. fans from like an indie production company, right? exactly yeah yeah and like so garage they heroes a that, it's so yeah, cool they gotta be real writers it's, it's so sick like that's like the dream it's so good yep and then the episode like, ends uh with uh heat and punk oh, jack getting their asses beat by uh glare yeah um, oh man can, like that hijack glare trend. yeah who can also yeah, like hijack that, people mm, that, that glare transformation was just so so sick yep yeah like and then geats gets eliminated uh yeah because he didn't put the belt on immediately yep. yeah he, he gets that's... eliminated and then we get like the most like almost 
the 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 most uh i guess uh unused dgp rule which is the game master does not interfere with the result of the game it, that, which, that that dgp rule made me laugh so hard because uh, all the other like up until this point the the like the thing was like oh cool they're letting us know more about the game and how it's being played and the rules that are being followed and then this rule immediately is like it's like i love how this comes out like a slap as like a slap in the face that the game master is not allowed to interfere with the results in any way and everyone like i think like wasn't even shocked we all were probably laughing our butts off i like that is well this rule it feels like it's throwing shit it's like right after he does it like he basically like cheats exactly. and then immediately the rule is like the game master's yeah, not yeah. supposed to cheat it was so funny like just that dichotomy of it uh, but oh yeah man favorite oh man so, so much good stuff happened in this episode uh he was the best boy continuing uh he even tried to give geats his driver at the beginning of the of the thing like buffa stops him was some really good mm-hmm. stuff with neon like doubting why she's even here because her dad and then she had one of the coolest transformations where he uses her little henshin post as like a block guy oh yeah uh yeah there, there was just so there was just so much awesome in this episode yeah there's so much there's so much fighting uh a lot of it's really cool uh bunch of nice like little small things like the fact that tycoon's uh shirt this episode was blue which matches with like the new command belt with the jet like mm-hmm. helmet uh yeah the stuff oh my god the stuff with punk jack and geats was all so so good because one yeah seeing seeing punk jack be so sad about everything and like like be thinking that his dream is like worthless and stuff uh and then for it to like be a turnaround and be like geats has been tricking him this whole time yeah that was that was really good like we thought oh wow geats geats actually learned how to be a good person and it's like nah nah he was tricking someone else also the fact that his mom was named was named mitsune instead of kitsune was also really funny to me uh it's very cause... funny i also i also really like that like every like like he's got like his signature little like fox hand thing now yeah he's been doing that more i think it's very cute the stuff yeah. The stuff with the new talking Jamato was almost even a little scary because the guy like is like, you know, like, oh, you're going to be my right hand man. And the Jamato is like, please, I'm not like you, which only has mm-hmm. me thinking that, like, you know, Jamatos are like tortured beings, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, like, like they could be past riders, like completely. Oh, no, no, like, no. I, th- I think they or... are. Because remember when, when they were fighting at this point, uh, when, uh. When when he fights the actual Jamato Rider, uh, Tycoon hears him say the exact same words as uh, Genpen, and it was the like like I have to win no matter what, and we get the like Genpen. Oh, flashback. that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah. So. Oh man, yeah, yeah. This episode was packed, so there was a lot that you there could was so easily much. miss. The punk jacket yeah. and and Geet stuff was really good. The stuff with his mom, Geet's mom, being a. Uh, what's it called uh, the the guide before uh yeah. Sire was was really interesting that that makes sense especially if he can't remember a lot from stuff from before mm. but and, and you know she disappeared you know she went to become someone that works for the dgp that that's pretty intense as well uh oh man the the other guys having their writers i think what were they like white tiger and like black wolf or something like that I don't remember what their ID cores were for the two bodyguards. Yeah, it's yeah, it's 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 just a lot. It's a lot. Like, it's that, super that's... sick. Yeah, that's oh no, that 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 that, that, that that's who it was. Yeah, I remember because I because I followed both of them. Yeah, Tom Constantine and uh, and Michael Kinder. Yeah, it is so cool that yeah they they that their fans that got to actually be a part of a legitimate production yeah. and i mean first just yeah. being a part of the show even as like background characters but now they're not mm-hmm. just background characters they're background writers mm-hmm. yeah former writers but still writers nonetheless and it's yeah. awesome yeah like, i oh hope i hope we get to see them uh do like a full henshin later on or like get brought back yeah. on or something there will be yeah. oh yeah. man also yeah we and... gotta talk about the the Giraro transformation or girori <sighs> which one Oh, oh yeah, glare. glare oh, my yeah, because oh my god! First of all, the like pulls up hand, takes off glove, mm-hmm. fingerprint sensor, 
that stuff is really cool. He's got his his little like key card and the whole gimmick thing being about like hacking is mm. is pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. It's glare. Yeah. Yeah, crack start, all that stuff. It's dominate yeah, system. And it's... Yeah, and like all the little eyeballs and like drone eyeballs and stuff. Yeah. But man, like I was not expecting that the 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 hack. Like that was the hack was scary. Like what yeah. That is that is so cool. The hack was scary. The the helmet was really good. I really like it was it had like the bug like antenna. It was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I like the fact that like Chunk Jack decided to rebel, but it's also really sad seeing him basically like rebel only to be like instantly defeated. Mm-hmm. And then after that next episode, uh, so uh, I think it's time to talk about the really big thing is the fact that next week, I don't know what the production schedule is. If we're getting an episode on Christmas and we're skipping New Year's or if it's the other way around, because the fact is uh, we have Christmas and New Year's on two Sundays in a row. So the reason why I bring this up is because the next episode seems like it's going to be going a specific way. Are we going to get a common writer Christmas considering that the writer of uh, the, the, pre- the writer previously wrote X8, which did have a common writer Christmas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, and yeah, we, we yeah. see some, 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 some not great, uh, boating yeah, some not for, great for Buffa, for Buffa. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And, and the episode is called like to be a writer, like, yeah. Oh. Also, Geats. Yeah, Geats doesn't have memory as well too, which is gonna be really, which is gonna be really great because we're finally gonna see him in essentially in a in a vulnerable state. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That'll be that'll be really interesting. Yeah, and the other thing too is that this is still Scheme Six. It's not Scheme F, so it's not the end of the game yet. Yeah. So, ooh. so I yeah I have I have no idea. This is it's heating up. Uh, regardless of if there's an episode next week or not, uh, we will be recording an episode ourselves that week. Mm. Uh, we've talked about basically just doing our favorite uh, suits so far for this show, our favorite moves, just kind of like a highlight of yeah. everything that's been going on throughout the series that oh. we really like. Oh, we're, we're no, we're, we're 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 still getting the episode next week. It's the week after because the oh, week after right. is so Christmas. After. Okay, you know, yeah, that's, I, that's I don't know I'm how time, I don't know how times work. At some point, we might not get an episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and but oh, and I, I I don't know when, but man, this this week was just intense. Speaking about that, skipping I guess, uh, to the end of Don Brothers. Is there no Don Brothers next week? Because the preview they showed was a Christmas episode, or are we just getting that it, early? It, it, it was a what episode? A Christmas episode. Um. Well, I mean, the thing is, they always do this around Christmas. So actually, I think I think we might be skipping Christmas Day then, and we are going to be getting something on on new year's but uh either way um yeah uh either way if we skip two weeks or we skip one week we're it's it's, it's gonna be because of either christmas or uh or christmas year's. or new year's um uh, my my bet is that we are gonna be skipping um we're gonna be skipping new year's because uh japan does do the kohaku Udakasen, right uh which is the, the the big red and white uh, uh male versus female like scene competition that's like a really big thing for a lot of people in japan uh, that they do for uh that they do for new year's so that might be that might be what happens um but yeah also it's really uh, it's actually really funny because um i only know of one but uh some conrad songs have uh, like a conrad song at least has been featured in that really big uh kohaku uh Urugasen as well too and that was uh one the second ending to conrad hibiki because it is a gorgeous song nice i nice. still need to i i, I still need to watch that <laughs> But yeah, uh, but yeah, but yeah, we're, we're, we're getting Christmas. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, oh, and then man. we got this week's Dawn Brother episode, which is yeah, honestly, like <laughs> this one was tonal whiplash to the max. I loved it, <laughs> but so like, good. but like it was, it was, it was two very, in like two varying plots with very different uh, tones. We had yeah, uh, we had Inu brother <laughs> going around. Uh, with Sononi, with Sononi, who was pre- pretending to be uh, his his girlfriend, beca- Natsumi, yeah. yeah, Natsumi, because he had lost sight of his eyes in a battle with Masamure, Masamune, mm. and yeah. they are ha- they're having this whole like on the run. Maybe she's in love with him. Maybe she's realizing her feelings thing, and like mm-hmm. the B plot. I don't even know if calling him a B plot because they're both. 
Yeah. Part, I, I, is part I, I was, of learning to drive. Yeah, I was joking around because I was watching this with a friend, and I'm like, it's like every single time I cut over, I said, meanwhile, in the B plot. <laughs> yeah, I love, first of all, I love that for her driving, she's like dressed in like a Bruce Lee outfit. Yeah. And then she's just got the big, big helmet. I love the even, fact that she's like terrible at driving. Yeah, and they even and they even said they even said uh, um don't think feel when driving. I was laughing even harder when they said that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was it was you... it was intense. Seeing seeing yeah. seeing seeing her first of all, literally every scene of her driving is like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I loved it. She cannot drive, she's got the parking brake on, she almost killed like two teachers. The third guy showed up with a neck brace to like protect himself. <laughs> And then he so and then he was just like he was just like a big pompadour dude with like the avia glasses. Okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, it, it's so funny. Like everything about this episode was funny. Like like she 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 was like a master driving backwards, but it's like she forgot how to drive forwards. Yeah, and it's really it's really funny too because like you know the whole thing about um the whole thing about uh. Inubro and um Inubro and Sononi is the fact that they are running away from um um Murasame who's Murasame. basically yeah Murasame who's basically going all terminator and hunting them down. Like we even get like a super awesome scene where they're in a the restaurant and he uses the uh, and uh, Murasame uses the sword like a, a shark fin and that was super cool to watch. That was and super then, cool. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And after that her. like yeah, and after all this, like pretty, and after all this, like that, we yeah, we basically had the plot of yeah, of of uh, Oni sister driving. We have uh, we have um, you know, uh, we have like, Inu brother, weird. yeah, running away from Murasame, Same, and then just as just as Murasame is getting ready to fight, it's just fucking both hit plots with literally collide. <laughs> yeah, both plots literally collide. My favorite thing was the fact that like the 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 uh oh god the avatar gun basically shut up and transformed her just so she could drive in the suit. Uh was yeah like yeah the, yeah oh, the Dawn Blaster, that's what it was called. Yeah. yeah the Dawn, Dawn Blaster shows up just to like transform her in the suit, which was great. I love that like yeah. they deal with Murasame. It's like, oh man, I wonder how the other guys are gonna show up. And then the instructor's like, there's no one I haven't been able to teach. Oh, she <laughs> and the, the best part too is that we get so much car foo in this episode like she's basically like drifting the car to swing it around she opens the door and stops the car to make a yeah, to make to, like, hit, run into to, it to, like it's hit him with so the door good. yeah and then but of course like you know the the really intense thing though like you know the main reveal quote unquote is that uh Murasame is now under Inubro's control um uh, and can actually kill and can actually kill beast seals, yeah, uh, which well, can actually be re really useful. Um, but Sononi seems to be hiding something a, a, a lot right there, yeah. Cause... So, so here's 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 my, my two big things. One, this first of all, we have the really sad scene where Tsubasa first realizes it's not uh, Natsumi, and so. We have to deal with that ordeal where, like, she's, like, stabbed and he's, like, almost running away. And I'm glad he didn't leave her there. I thought she was going to die for a second. Oh, man, yeah. It's, it was, it was it's, really it's sad. Over. Yeah, there, there's so much. Especially because, like, she... So here's here's my, my current theory. She's, like, realized that she has feelings for Tsubasa. That mm -hmm. the love that she's looking for not only exists, but, like, she's in love with him. And then mm -hmm. she gives him the sword... Who tell he she tells them that they can kill beef deals, and she tells them that that's the only way to save someone in the forest. But we've already been told that if the beef deal dies, the person in the forest dies as well. And we were like that was even highlighted in the recap of this episode. They like go back to to, to like remind you that that's a thing. Yeah, which is really intense because like then Sonani is basically trying to do that to get, uh, to get um to get Inu brother to get not to be killed. Be yeah. yeah. And dude, especially like if he's the one who kills it, that's gonna be awful. But the thing oh is, afterwards, when she walks away, her eyes start glowing, and all I could think of is like, okay, so Cerebrans can't turn into Hitotsuki because they don't have the desires, but she's starting to have like human desires, so she can she turn into a monster now. 
Like, is this mm-hmm. her? This is leading the path of her being able to like turn into a monster and having to be killed. Yeah. Oh man. And it's like it's like it's like while while you are trying to recover from all that stuff, like just remembering, like, oh, that's what's gonna happen with the beast deals. That's what that's what's gonna happen. We get we we cut over to the other boys. I haven't been then, in this episode at all. Basically. Yeah. And then we all we get we get the again best this she's my favorite Haruk is my favorite character we get to see her showing off her driver's license everyone's like surprised like oh my god when did you find the time and she's like come on guys we're going for a drive second of all she's dressed like like a racer she's in like racing clothes <laughs> but then like you see like, car, the car, is beat up. The car it's, so... it's, it's, it's the worst car i've ever seen in my life it's got like fender what bender it? stuff it? it's duct taped it's got like a plastic bag on one of the windows yeah, and some of the so... rearview mirrors just like duct taped on, and all of them yeah. decide to like run. The campaign. It's so funny. And yeah. then she chases them in reverse, which leads mm. to what I think is a really funny shot of like she's chasing them in the reverse, and like the trunk that's broken is like popping open, so it almost looks like you know like a monster mouth that's coming to get <laughs> yeah. them, right? It's uh. so funny. Oh, and man. then we get we get the the Merry Don Bros Christmas preview. Yeah, so it looks like the Sarah Brands actually do celebrate Christmas, and they're gonna they're gonna and, be the real ones to and, do and, the and, and, and maybe their stuff. Santa question. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, well, we'll 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 see. And the funniest thing too about this is that there's a Christmas cake, and uh, Sonani is a uh, is a uh, force feeding Saru Bro because Saru Bro's obviously gonna be flirting with her. Yeah, again he's trying to he's trying to flirt with her, and she's like, shut shut up, just shut up, just shoves it as much. Yeah, shut up. and we do get to see uh, what I assume is Inu brother in the like black ninja suit, which is pretty cool. It's a mm-hmm. nice suit. Yeah, it's oh man, it's 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 gonna it's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch uh, uh, next week's episode. Yeah, Christmas like Christmas episode with Christmas episode with this show in particular. Like, yeah. Also, you know what's really funny? Like, there, there's a small shot of a Merry Christmas ornament. Um, they've used that ornament for so many Christmas episodes into in uh in uh for toy shows and it makes me laugh i'm like hey it's that same christmas ornament i've seen that christmas ornament in a bunch of places and it's gonna it's it's, it's gonna be great also you know what's the worst part uh oh, oh actually oh, so so we did get the uh the absolute number confirmed and it is gonna be 50 episodes for don bros so don bros ends in 10 episodes 10 episodes oh my god we have 10 episodes left of it i'm gonna be so sad when the show ends wow it's It's so good yeah yeah i there there's gonna be there's gonna be a a a peach shape hole in my heart where this show goes yeah i'm really hoping king oger can can uh, well i mean i want to say keep it going like i just like i it's like i feel it's not going to be um, no i I feel it's not going to be as insane obviously yeah yeah to be fair i think what once we have an ending to Don Brothers, I think uh, obviously the next show should do its own thing. I don't think we need mm-hmm. to worry about it. Like, I don't think every Sentai from now on needs to be like Don Brothers. No. Uh, no. First of all, yeah. I don't know if they can write enough stories to like replicate what's going on. But two, like Don Brothers is special because it's it's crazy. And like, if all mm-hmm. of them were like this, you know, obviously I feel like it's like okay, that's just how Sentai is, you know. Um, yeah, and then like and like some people some people were going crazy over calling the end of Sentai because like you know the the actors were given instruction act like act like uh, Sentai is getting canceled or like this is gonna be the la- act like this is gonna be the last Sentai show so they went ham. It's not so much that they're already amazing at acting; it's the fact that they they put their whole soul into this show. Yeah, it's so especially great. like 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 I'm gonna be honest, like so many shows also like shy away from doing kind of like dumb ugly faces but even like this episode haruka was literally like contorting her <laughs> face like a mad woman during all of those it's, driving scenes it's so funny like like i said i'm gonna be really sad when the show ends because um i was basically discussing with my friend it's not gonna overtake tokyujer um as my favorite sentai it's not gonna um but it's gonna be up there it is so memorable like yeah, like, yeah, Zen, yeah. Like Zen Kaiger, like you know, had some really high moments, but like there is so much to talk about for 
for Don Rose. And it works too because of the fact that because of the way that Inoue is writing it, there is there's like ha- there has been no conclusion to a single storyline, and we're still just waiting. And no, like, we still oh don't, my god, we still don't know anything. They still haven't. They don't know who Inu Brother is. Yeah, that yeah, we don't know who Inu Bro is. Uh, we still have bestials and stuff like that. Um, whatever the deal is with uh with the Cerebrans. Um, like just just they even brought a new mystery. They call they called Zen Kaiser, uh, Zen Kaiser the true hero last episode. Like, what is it? What is his whole deal? Why is he here? Like, they haven't explained anything. They haven't given us closure on anything. And the best part about that is that if you know. If you know, like previous episodes, it uh, like you know some of the new things that they're answering is like, oh, cool, hey, they're answering some stuff, but not everything, and they're still like, the the best way to put it is that like we're on episode forty, and someone watching it at episode forty is probably gonna enjoy this as much as someone that has been watching from the beginning. That that is that is the best way to put this. Like, yeah, there's yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's like it's like it's. it's it, it's, it's, it's not that continuity is messed up. No, it's that continuity is there. It's just that it's being fed, like, it's just being fed in sneaky ways. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about Don Brothers. Uh, it's it's just fun, okay? I have so much fun watching this show. It's really funny. It's enjoyable. Uh, I really like most of the characters. And, like, I just have a lot of fun with it. Is yeah. it possible they drop the ball and because nothing's been resolved, nothing actually gets resolved by the end of it? Maybe. But I feel like so far, like, the ride getting there has been so good that, like... Yeah. Oh, so, like, I, I want to have faith that they yeah. have some it's, sort of plan. It's insane. It's just absolutely insane. Like, this, this, this show literally has not, like, stopped ha- being fun. Which is a great thing. It's fun and dumb, and like, there's still a lot of heart. And like, they didn't mean to, but they've all kind of become friends, even though, like, at the beginning, most of them just kind of hated Taro for being mm-hmm. kind of a dick. But like, I love that episode where they're trying to beat him, and at the end, they tell him that his stag beetle's like back, and he's just so heartwarmingly looking for it. And like, none of them can bring themselves to beat him because they're like, okay, no, this was wrong. Yeah, we shouldn't have done this. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, this show's just been a lot of fun. I just, I just really enjoy the fact that every single time there's a monster of the week scene, it just feels like an obligation. Say, like, oh, we have to get this out of the way. It's yeah. like, like it's been so funny. And every, it's not every bad time. because it's like it almost like the the main story or the main like thing that like is is the focusing the show is focusing on is the characters and almost like their daily life shenanigans. And then the monster of the week is just kind of like their background, you know. It's kind of like you know mm-hmm. how some how some shows will you know uh, will be like about like club activities. So like you'll see them in school, but like any of the actual school stuff gets skipped over real quick. It's like that. This is just like their school, <laughs> or like their work that they just do in the background <laughs> for the important character development stuff later. Yeah, it's just it's just it's just it's just been great. I just I just it's want great. more. I want more. Yeah, I want more. Like. On one hand, I'm like, man, we're 40 episodes deep into Don Brothers. It's almost over. I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared of it, of it being over. It's very sad. On the other hand, I'm like, man, we are only like 13 episodes into Geats or 14 episodes into Geats, and this show is also just going hard. Yeah, I have been I've been having a lot of fun with Geats. I think all the characters are 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 good, and even when you don't like them, there's there's I think there's gonna be characters you like, and I think they're all trying to go through their own arcs and doing their own things. And I, I'm really scared for Buffa next episode because I like him, but also, yeah. yeah. What I um, oh man, man. what yeah. I really liked from this episode was like it showed you how clever geats is and how like he can be very manipulative very tricky but it still didn't work yeah it's yeah well we'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens there there there's 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 a lot to think about there's a lot to think about there's a lot to talk about uh and with that our 30 minutes are just about up thank you so much for listening everybody thank you so much for coming to the new channel and for sticking with us and yeah, that's that's it for this week. 
we'll be we'll we'll be bringing on news on the stuff where the the new stuff we're working on for this channel and and like we're gonna have a patreon and stuff for the future we'll we'll be putting all of that stuff uh like or more we'll have more information for that stuff either like next episode or we'll just do like a simple video like announcing that stuff uh thank you so much for listening i have been sleepy witch and i've been dj Azir, the 2.5d hero talk tuber later later this program is brought to you by our unending love of tokusatsu if you enjoyed the show please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and if you would like to support us further consider becoming a patron at our patreon half hour henshin you can get some exclusive benefits such as your name in the credits and joining our sticker club or if you want to help with a one-time donation you can also find us at kofi at half hour henshin you can email us with any questions or theories at halfhourhenshin at gmail.com or on Twitter at halfhourhenshin.